Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing a building my new keyboard. If you guys have watched my YouTube channel for a while or if you just know me, I was a big fan of Razer. I loved Razer everything. I have a Razer mouse mat, Razer mouse, Razer mic, Razer headset, Razer everything. Everything that I had was Razer, including my keyboard. Just gonna compare the old keyboard first. This is the Razer Black Widow Chroma. I don't even remember which version it is. It's one of the first ones. So it's a full 100% keyboard, as you can see. It's got the USB and jack in the side, right there. And the keyboard was so good. The macros, the clicks, the keys, I, I loved it. The, the RGBs, amazing. But it comes a time we just have to upgrade it. So we're just gonna compare the sound and everything that this keyboard has to offer. Let's just appreciate it one last time. can notice there's a bit damaging on the box the box that it did come in was a bit tattered it did come all the way from China um, hopefully nothing's broken inside so because this is my first time building my own keyboard so the damaged box aside it does seem that the keyboard itself is in good condition I hope it does seem pretty good and sturdy so here we go that looks so clean this looks so clean I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera but it's nice and white so these are the adjustables you can go one level or two levels they do feel quite sturdy to be fair which is a good thing now, I have seen in a couple of videos that people take this off um, get inside and add foam or anything but as this is my first uh, own made um, you know building my first keyword I'm not gonna get to in depth with it put this to the side our switches so I have the so I have the palm silver switches um, the reason why I chose these I think they sounded quite good um, with the reviews that I looked at and they are probably the best for gaming because they have less of a depth than the other switches let me just take this out and I don't want to mess up any of the pins on the back so I'm not going to fiddle with it too much um, let's just start off by putting them in the keyboard now these are not lubed and not pre-lubed I might watch a video in the future on how to how to lube a keyboard but as I'm new to this again I'm not going to do that
So here I'm left with eight switches. I got two packs of 45, which is fine with me. I guess just in case one of the switches break, I can replace them. So I'm just gonna move this to the side. And we're gonna open our keycaps. Right, let's take this out. Another one over here. I guess these are spare keys, yep. Let's get this keyboard in front. Now I did only move my keyboard in front of me. My old keyboard. So I can see where I'm putting the actual buttons. Let's follow this. That should be okay. I'm so excited already. I'm already so excited. So here we are with the keyboard fully assembled. Now, just to note, I am from the UK. So there's a few buttons on here. For example, the four is a dollar sign, um, which can be programmed to change, which I will be doing. Um, but yeah, so this is what the keyboard looks like without the LEDs. Let's plug it up and see what it looks like with the LEDs. So now you can see what it looks like with the LEDs. The LEDs on this board are phenomenal. They're very bright. They look very nice. The whole keyboard in general. It's pretty nice. And for the sound test. I hope the sound I hope the sound was good. I hope it was clear. I hope you guys can tell the difference. There's no click and clack. So if I just do a side by side comparison. So if we just overlap real quick. This is a massive difference. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Peace.